is Just a Faker, and I am about to expose a so-called minister of the gospel here in North Carolina. He says that he obeys the word of God, but I've got footage that says otherwise. Check it out over here. Yeah, I just don't obey the word of God. So he says that he's a minister of the gospel and he obeys, but he's sleeping down with other women. You know, having sex outside of marriage. He's doing drugs. Taking drugs and wilding out and doing crazy stuff. You know, I'm not going to tell you I'm perfect. I have made my mistakes, you know, and I refuse to repent. So why do we even listen to a minister of the gospel that says he doesn't even believe the word of God? The word of God is not true. I just refuse to obey. Tune in next time to Just a Faker as we expose the truth. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, the real reason for this video is just to show you how people will take a conversation out of context and so-called expose someone when what they're really doing is twisting their words. That is a common tactic and it's happened all through the Bible. So, yo, you got to understand that when you watch the news and when you watch all these people who so-called expose other people, you need to get the whole message. So right now, what we're going to play is the actual clip that was recorded. And we're going to show you how these things are cut up and video editors and other audio editors take these original clips and they doctor them to make it seem like a person said something that they did not say. What I don't understand. Yeah, I just don't understand why people just don't obey the word of God. I mean, all you have to do is look at all of the biblical evidence. Stuff that, that was spoken thousands of years ago is coming to pass now. Other things have already come to pass. You know, people just like, act like it's not true. You know, having sex outside of marriage, taking drugs and other harmful things to the body, just wilding out and doing crazy stuff. Me? No, nah, I, I, ain't, I ain't doing that. And, and, I, and I refuse to be a hypocrite. You know, I'm not going to tell you I'm perfect. I have made my mistake. You know, and I repent and I get back up. Some people refuse to repent. They refuse to, e refuse to even acknowledge that what they do is a sin. You know, you got people saying that they're this and they're that and they're something that God did not create them to be. And then they get mad because people won't accept it. Yo, the only thing that we have to accept is that the word of God is true. There's evidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro, I accept it. Not going to be a hypocrite like some. Yeah, because see what you, what you got to understand is once you've learned and you know, once you've taken time and you've studied, you find out that God's word is true. History has proven it. Scientists have tried to dispute it. And a lot of them gave their life to Christ. Why? Because when they looked at the evidence, they see that it's true. So that's why I say I just I just don't know why people refuse to obey. Yeah, I just don't understand why people just don't obey the word of God. Yeah, I just don't obey the word of God. You know, having sex outside of marriage, taking drugs and other harmful things to the body, just wilding out and doing crazy stuff. Me? No, I, I, ain't, I ain't doing that. And, and, I, and I refuse to be a hypocrite. You know, I'm not going to tell you I'm perfect. I have made my mistakes, you know, and I repent and I get back up. Some people refuse to repent. You know, having sex outside of marriage, taking drugs and wilding out and doing crazy stuff. You know, I'm not going to tell you I'm perfect. I have made my mistakes, you know, and I refuse to repent. So that's why I say I just I just don't know why people refuse to obey. I just refuse to obey. So as you can see in the original footage, what was taken out of context was how words were twisted. The word not was pulled out and just different things done. And this happens all the time. You know, as a video editor, I see these things and I realize these are doctored clips, but most people don't know that these things have been altered. And this is what the enemy uses to deceive. So be careful. Whenever somebody tells you something about somebody else, you need to check that out for yourself. You need to verify because if someone is preaching the truth, the enemy does not want you to hear them or doesn't want you to listen to them. So that's the whole reason we brought this video so you can see how things are actually twisted and things are messed up and lies are told because the media has been doing this for years. So now it's time to expose Satan and his game.